dispute over pensions. And tonight, these workers say they have no plans of leaving. Good evening, I'm Zoraida Allman. The occupation at North Star Aerospace has lasted nearly 24 hours. Police could move in at any moment, and the company says it is considering legal action to regain control. Let's go live to CTV's Miranda Anthisel, who is live outside the plant tonight. Miranda, what's the backstory here? Well, Zoraida, the union said it had to do something drastic in order to get its point across, and it's not backing down, not until the company finds the millions of dollars needed to fully fund the pension plan. There's lots of activity outside this Milton manufacturing plant, but inside work is at a standstill. The building taken over early this morning by the union representing its employees, both current and retired, like Mike Jones, who is set to lose a significant chunk of his pension plan. It's just not right. I mean, you know, you work there your whole life and this company, does, they don't care about us. He's talking about North Star Aerospace, which the union is fighting with to fund a pension deficit. It's 24% or $6 million short. Unifor, which also represents CTV News employees, says this means a loss of more than $200 a month for over 150 of its members. My pension, and which me and my wife and we're relying on to you know, survive the rest of our life. The company, specializing in high-precision aircraft parts, will be closing its doors and sending the work to Windsor and Chicago. Heligear acquisition took over North Star after it filed for bankruptcy in 2012. It says the pension plan was poorly managed prior to this and that Heligear has made every payment required in its negotiated collective agreement. Any reduction or shortfall is a function of the plan management and design, which are not within Heligear's control. Unifor bears responsibility for the current condition of the pension plan, but refuses to acknowledge and accept that responsibility. This is a plan that's fully funded by the company. Members do not pay, or the employees do not pay one penny into it, and that's how it's negotiated. Employees were escorted off premises. Only union members and pensioners remain on site. The company says it is especially concerned about the safety of the building and people inside. Now, uniform members are in the building, but the union says it has done a walkthrough and made sure that everything and everyone is okay. Over 200 uniform supporters from Windsor to Ottawa and St. Catharines are here showing their support. I think what big business is doing is wrong, taking away the pensions. They've worked hard all their lives for these pensions, and they want to take them away. Does that sound right? No. Moral support North Star employees say they appreciate, but they're looking to the company for financial compensation. We're the ones that made these parts for them and made them the millions and millions of dollars, so, you know, they should look after us right till the end. The union says it does have rotating groups of people with more supporters on the way, and while they do plan on being here for as long as it takes, they do hope to get back to the bargaining table as soon as possible. Reporting live in Milton, I'm Miranda Anthesol. Zoraida, I'll send it over to you. Thank you, Miranda.